Hey, this is Tim from Soeju and Migration. In today's video, I'm going to give you some updates for Western Australian State Nomination Program in financial year 2021 to 2022. So WA government just recently released the new requirements and occupation list for state nomination 190 and 491 skill related visas. So for the new financial year, WA government has categorized into two different streams general stream and graduate stream but under the general stream they further categorize into two different schedules schedule one and schedule two with different occupations and different state nomination requirements if your nominated occupation is on general stream schedule one mainly related to health occupations then you need to provide evidence that you have been working at least one year in Australia or three years overseas for working experience. And you also need to provide a contract of employment for the next 12 months. And the employment must be full time. If your nominated occupation is on Schedule 2 under General Stream, the good news is they include a lot of popular occupations like accountants, IT related occupations and many engineers occupations then you only need to provide you have a job contract for the next 12 months but again the job contract must be full-time if your nominated occupation is on graduate stream you just need to provide evidence you have at least six months Australian related working experience or you can provide a contract of employment for the next six months but the job contract must be full-time as well so this is the specific requirement for each stream but there are also some common requirements firstly you must be currently residing in Australia so WA government will not issue an invitation to offshore applicants for this financial year Secondly, you need to satisfy all the Department of Home Affairs requirements for 190 and 491 visas such as age requirements You must be aged between 18 to 45 years old Secondly, you need to achieve competent English for DHA's requirements but if your nominated occupation is a level 1 or level 2 occupation, WA government will require you to have at least proficient English level, which is IELTS 7 in each band or PT 65 for each band. If your nominated occupation is a level 3, 4 or 5 occupation, then you just need to achieve competent English level. Number 3, they require you to have a positive skill assessment for your nominated occupation and the skill assessment must be full skill assessment not provisional skill assessment such as for accounting or IT they do have provisional skill assessment but they require you to have a full skill assessment for your nominated occupation number four you must have achieved at least 65 points for skill point test including all states nomination points so this is the brief introduction and summary for the Western Australian State Nomination Requirements for financial year 2021 and 2022. If you have further questions or if you want to know more about this, you can feel free to contact us via different messengers or Facebook or YouTube. One of our registered migration agents will contact you as soon as practicable. Please remember to subscribe our YouTube channel to get the latest updates for migration and education in Australia. Thank you and see you next time.